I'll say this very point blank. Mara was one of the best guys I've done business with. We made a deal like this and we put hands out, we shook hands. And when you can do business with a person on, on a handshake that says a lot about their, their morals, their values. My name is Mauro Martino. I'm the uh, chef and founder of OEB. It's a, a handshake. He asked me to do something and I go ahead and do it. And I know that in the end, he's gonna like what we've produced. So I was working for Mauro in 2011. And I just remember those early mornings, and that would give me a lot of time to get to know Moro. I had this great idea about beehive sponsorships, and I came back to him, pitched to him my idea, and there is nothing better than getting your first sale from someone like Moro Martina. We wouldn't have started without the product, right? And, and farmers have to be on the forefront here. It's not just a beekeeper that is doing things for us and I'm putting a label on it. It's not about that, it's the connection. Integrity is everything about farming because if you don't have trust with the farmer in something that you have to do three times a day is eat, well then that's a problem. We really believe in keeping our hives on anti-pesticide farms. Our bees forage on nothing but the best. It's making the ingredients shine, you know, there is no, there is no secret. For most restaurants, breakfast is something to fill that void between 8 o'clock in the morning and 11 o'clock. I wanted to take that serious. Local, sustainable, ethical, you know, treat your team well. Treat your team as well as you want to be treated. It's, it's not just buy and sell. It's, it's appreciating what farmers do for us. You know, them getting up at 2 o'clock in the morning, you know, or with a baker starting at 10 o'clock at night where we go to sleep. He starts. I want to I wanna bring that back into uh, the restaurants and tell a story about it. If you're not meeting his standards of integrity, he'll let you know. And I really admire that about him. It's not just the food. It's the ambience. It's the people. It's taking my staff to farms and educating them about that. Like I said, very hands-on, but he also understands, you know, what the farmer does and what the producer does. And he's not just like that with Bear and the Flower, he's like that with all those producers, you know? And he's very loyal to them. We have our own flock of chickens. What it is, it's a free-range, omega-3 enriched, all vegetarian product. So happy chickens, happy life, happy product. You know, start with the egg. It's the essential of breakfast, right? So start with the egg and everything else followed. A lot of my friends know me as working in three-star Michelin places or working with high-end chefs. Breakfast, you know, means so much more to me, right, than just the first meal of the day. It, it doesn't stop at two eggs over easy and a piece of toast, or a couple of poached eggs and an avocado and whatever else it may be. What, what we would do different is really, you know, acknowledging the hard work that, that, that farmers go into, right, by providing us with exceptional um, products. I think when you put that much time and dedication and effort into creating a dish like Maro does, he really wants to make sure that as much love is going into that product as much as he's putting into making it. We pick today for orders that are shipping tomorrow, so customers are getting product the next day. What sets us apart is, is the overall culinary experience. There's not too many places out there that are probably going to use truffles on the menu right? Or, you know, go with, with duck or scallops or, or, you know, sturgeon caviar. It's just one of those things where you think automatically fine dining. Put those ingredients in front of them and say, you know what, we, you can have this for breakfast as well. I'm sure you've all eaten at OEB. It's, there's nothing better. I believe that we can be the first one-star Michelin breakfast restaurant. I truly, I truly believe that kind of start small and when you create some, something good it's just people are attracted to that so I don't know OEB is special it's about that it's about food it's about just elevating this whole the whole breakfast scene really right that's what OEB is all about I have high hopes for OEB it's been very beneficial to this farm and uh, we hope to be part of that for, for forever you know yeah but like I'm really proud of him because um, He's kind of showing me that we that we could do it too. It's a journey to, to be told still, you know, I think it's just the beginning of what's to come. <laughs>